Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you feel like you're ready to take on a dragon, may I suggest you do it at this location called Dragon's Breath. From what I can tell, this location has the most top tier loot and it's all in one place. I mean, we are talking the Anathema Archie stuff for the Sorcerer and this weapon inflicts silence on enemies. So it's very handy if you have a sorcerer, give them this weapon against dragons so that they cannot cast their magic when you're fighting them. Definitely a very good, very useful weapon. The dragon's faith shield, which is one of the best, if not the best shield in the game for the fighter. And then you have the dead ringer door spear, which I think is also considered one of the best, if not the best weapon for the mystic spear hand. And all of that in just one location. Now, the journey is pretty lengthy to get here and you will encounter quite a lot of enemies on the way. But if you're confident and ready to take on a dragon, you're probably at the level high enough that the journey should not be a problem. To get here, follow the map. So make sure when you reach this intersection here, you go to the one on the right because there's only one way that leads here. So if you pass it, you will have to turn back. And once you see this bridge, then you know that you're on the right track. Make sure don't destroy the bridge. Otherwise you have to come back after quite some time has passed. You will encounter all types of enemies. There's also Medusa's cave here. If you want to, you can also go in there. In this cave is at the beginning and take on Medusa. When you're about to reach the tower, there's going to be a Grim Augur. Don't worry too much if you lose health fighting the enemies on the way to the tower because you will find a campsite right at the base of the tower so that you can rest, get all your health back before you fight the dragon. And aside from defeating the dragon and getting all the loot, depending on how you've been running your main quest, you might also either unlock the mystic spear hand vocation here, or if you unlocked it before, you may end up getting the master teaching here after you defeat the dragon and talk to this guy. Once you're in the tower, you're going to look out for these weak walls that you're going to destroy and break open. There's going to be three of those walls. This first false wall, once you destroy, you're going to go downstairs. The first chest is just going to be some gold and consumables, but then you wanna head outside, grab this chest, which has a fairy stone. You will also have some resources that if you want, you can get them. After that, just go back go upstairs to the next level and right in front of you, you are going to see another false wall. You want to destroy this one and inside you're going to find a chest with your first weapon, the anathema. And after you grab the chest, you go outside. There's going to be another chest right by the edge that has the shield dragon's faith. One of the best, if not the best shield for the fighter vocation. Definitely want to grab that. Go up again the stairs and you're going to find your last false wall. It's going to lead you to the outside where you're going to get a waystone shard. After that, there's another chest upstairs with some gold and a book. And now it's time to fight the dragon. In my case, I was running the magic archer vocation. So I use martyr's bolt just to make a quick kill of the dragon. And after defeating the dragon, you're going to get the dead ringer weapon. And at that point, you can talk to the guy, the NPC, and either get your mystic spear hand vocation unlocked, or if you already have it, then he will give you the master skill. And finally, if you keep going upstairs, there's just going to be one more final chest. And all he has is a couple of books. So, you know, nothing special, but there you have it. So highly recommend it if you want to slay some dragons. All right, so that is it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I see you all in the next video.